Many, many years ago, uh, we had a, a church office on Arrow Highway, and, and we used to get a lot of these uh, solicitors coming by selling like office products or selling, I mean, they would just, they'd go knock on every door. It was in, it was in a business complex we were in. And so, so one day uh, a lady came by and she was trying to sell some office products and she had her catalogs out and her magazines out and all this, and we were being very nice, but we didn't need anything. But then she looked around and, and it dawned on her, we were a church. And so she went ahead and she closed her catalog and she goes, you know, I'm a Christian and can I ask you, you're a pastor, can I just ask you a question, just, just off the record, a, a question about the Bible? Sure, well, how, how can I help you? She says, when you see all the things that are going on in the world today, all these things happening, all these terrible things happening, aren't you afraid? When you see the things the Bible says happening, aren't you afraid? And I said, no, not at all. I go, in fact, I rejoice. I'm excited about it. It just tells me again, the Bible is true. The Bible is the word of God. And everything the Bible says will come to pass, will come to pass. And she, and you could see it, it like the, the aha moment. And, and she thought about it and she's like, oh yeah, yeah, I guess that is true. And I said, you know what? I read the back of the book, we win. So the Bible tells us what it's going to look like. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 through 5. But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. Other versions say difficult times, stressful times. You just fill the blank in the way you want to. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal. Jesus himself, when he was here, did not make it go away. He gave us the answer for it by shedding his blood. And he redeemed us from it, but the world is full of it, and it's always gonna be full of it. But we need to pray the way Jesus said pray. Jesus says, say, oh, I just pray for world peace, I just pray for world peace. It's, it's, it means well, it's just not gonna happen. Amen? Until Jesus comes again. But what we can pray, is for world evangelism. The answer to the, all the troubles in this world right now is the Lord Jesus Christ. No law can change a human heart. No amount of, of rebellion, no, no amount of anger can change it. If anything, it just embeds more and more darkness into people's hearts. Only Jesus can change a heart. They don't know what's happening. They don't know what's going on. They don't know where to find hope. They don't know where to turn to for answers. And you and I have the answer, and his name is Jesus.